Okay, we are starting to ride through Redwood National and State Parks. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Hey, darling. <laughs> we are in the Redwood Forest and uh, we just can't stop. We have to come and touch one of these redwood trees. We're not even to our hotel yet. We're just driving through the park. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. As soon as you walk into the forest, there's a sense of peace off the road, and it feels very cool in here. It's just a random tree on the side of the road, redwood tree. It's massive. It's so happy to be here. I take about six of you to get around there. <laughs> early to hike the next day, we decided to drive our car through the Klamath drive through tree before even getting to our hotel. We stayed at the Holiday Inn Express in Klamath, just two minutes away from the drive through tree. Must be up this road, like, I think we have to follow that. No motorhomes or trailers. So you have to put the money in there. Five dollars. Car ahead of us, dude. Uh oh. We're still trying to shake the sand out of our shoes from yesterday's adventure at the Oregon sand dunes. This morning we're headed to the Redwood Forest. Last night we stayed here at the Holiday Inn Express in Klamath because we have three big hikes today. We have uh, a hike to Fern Canyon. We also have a hike to Lady Bird Johnson Grove and the tall trees grove. For Fern Canyon and the tall trees, we needed to have a hiking permit and we have that. Of course, we're trying to get out as soon as we can because the best hikes, less people, a lot of traveling today. This must be an elk crossing point. They're all over the place. poke their head up to look at you. There's oh, ones with some. You're right. As we were driving through the Redwood Forest on our way to Fern Canyon, we were stopped because trees were being torn down. We decided to ask why the trees were being torn down and what we found out was pretty interesting. Here, so right now there's only like a 18 inch culvert that's totally installed wrong from back in the day. And we're gonna put like a big six to eight foot culvert so fish can pass through us. Okay, good. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a definitely an interesting project. Yeah, I appreciate but, you asking. Yeah. The reason we have to cut the trees is because all the sediment is below the trees, right? So we have to cut the trees to remove the sediment, put it in a stable spot, and then the trees grow back. It looks pretty barren after the first year, but right. the second year we're already having 
I think somebody did a study and there was like over 20 species of growth coming back. Salamanders, we had fish come back already into some of our other locations. And then we already have like three foot tall alder trees growing just after a couple years. So it's pretty impressive. You can mm -hmm. see right now they're just building, reoccupying the old road that was okay. there from when they logged it back in the day. It's hard to see now, obviously, but there was a road going across. Are you good if I send some traffic? All right, go ahead. All right, thank, thank you. you. Good luck Appreciate to you guys. We thought we were gonna have to cross a river, but that's a stream, so hopefully that'll be about it. Parking lot, there's not anybody here but us and two other cars. We're headed for three major hikes today. The first one here is at Fern Canyon. They only allow 100 permits per day for this trail. And I applied for this permit a long time ago. We ran into some people yesterday at the pool and they said that they wanted to hike this and didn't know that they needed a permit. So, kind of feel special going into the day already. She's excited. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen her so <laughs> nervous or excited. Yep. Breakfast was a, breakfast was a flash. <laughs> yeah. He said, slow down. I'm like, no, we got to get there. Usually I'm the one scarfing down the food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to be good. Jurassic Park 2 was filmed in Fern Canyon. So I'm looking forward to getting out there and seeing if it makes me feel like I'm back in the Jurassic age. Just a tenth of a mile to the start of the trail. There's the beach, the Pacific Ocean. It's the start of the trail. James Irvine Trail. We weren't sure if we were on the right trail or not, so I pulled up my All Trails app, and we are. So we're gonna go up James Canyon Trail right here, and then we're gonna go down Fern Canyon Trail. Ready to go. Okay, we decided to go clockwise because I think that we wanna go down the canyon last. Save the best for last. A little climb. First sighting of ferns. Make you feel like Jurassic Park? Yeah, right here. Uh, nice little yeah, those are dangerous suckers, aren't they? Friends are raptors. They're raptors. They come after you and nip you. Remember in the movie, they looked kind of friendly at first and then they tore those people up? Down on this bridge here. This is where they, in Jurassic Park, this is where they had the dinosaurs tied off. <laughs> I don't think it held. <laughs> <laughs> I think they busted me. Uh -huh. It's not. See, we got off track a little bit. We followed the James Irvin Trail a little bit farther. It says Fern Canyon Trail is 0.3 miles. So there must be a sign up here that says Fern Canyon and to go down to it. And I have my app open. You can see that we're off. We need to get back to this loop right here. What a nice place to get lost. Uh. 
<laughs> parking's point three. Okay. It oh, doesn't yeah. really say. Right here, we missed that one. Oh yeah. Jeez. Okay. Fern Canyon Trail. So now we're on track. This is the start of it. This is where they said we're going to be walking through some water. Yeah, that's why they're called redwoods. I don't know if you can see it on here, but it is red. Hey. Oh, cool. All right, we just finished Fern Canyon. But the question was, should you go clockwise or counterclockwise? And what's the answer? Clockwise. Go clockwise. Go up the, the redwoods first and end up come and end up coming through the canyon floor. Saving the best for last. Yeah. Not that the redwoods aren't impressive, they are, but the Fern Canyon is what makes this place yeah. unique. It's a pretty easy trail. Uh, to start you go up a little a little bit, you ascend a little bit, but it's not difficult. And then uh, about uh, Four tenths of a mile, three tenths of a mile is on the canyon floor uh, going across stream. Pretty neat. We could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Until next time. Let our next trail help you find your next trail.